So welcome back again to the demo room here in Shista and the webinar that today we'll be covering Camera Trainer, the Bosch way of adding machine learning into the edge in a Bosch camera. Uh, the previous session has covered a little bit of the products, about some solutions like video analytics, remote portal, uh, product assistant tool. And today we will be also merging them together to show you a bit about how to do this from a remote site when you need to do uh, updated configuration. Uh, there will be some repetition from some of you for some of you who have been attending the previous seminars, but I think it's important to have a small reminder for the other ones as well. So what we're really doing when we're bringing analytics on the edge, at the edge, we're adding these hardware components to be able to create this analytics. And in the latest updates of the cameras, we have added so much horsepower, so we're able to generate new functionality and to add the machine learning possibilities in the cameras. What we're doing is still generating the metadata in the camera, making the decision if it's an event or an alarm in the camera. We're sending the video information together with the metadata to the storage devices, and then we're able to search for these events afterwards. Even if you need to set up other ones afterwards, you can still do that since we have all the metadata recorded. What we have also been displaying previously is the way of creating metadata to go beyond security. This metadata is what you can see in this video also capable of doing classifications. What I will demonstrate today together with Jimmy, who is the co-driver, is the possibility to generate new type of objects as you see in this video, and as I've been showing you previously, we have some predefined objects. It's like the car, the bicycle, the person, the truck, and so on. Now, today, I will demonstrate a brand new way of adding your own different types of objects. Essential analytics have been covered. Intelligent analytics have been covered. I have already showed you and demonstrated the clickable PDF, and you have the link to where you can find this one. What I will do today is to talk about the camera trainer part. Camera trainer is the Bosch version of adding the machine learning into the edge devices from Bosch. Uh, we have been adding artificial intelligence in the cameras for quite a while. There will be new products coming up that is adding neural networks with real deep learning into these products in the future. But today, what we can offer today in the products of the 7000, 8000 and 9000 series, both in the fixed ones and in the moving ones, is the camera trainer. So camera trainer is the way of how we as a manufacturer gives you the opportunity of testing and trying your own objects into the cameras that have intelligent analytics. This is one of the differentiator between the essential analytics and the intelligent analytics. So what we can do with this machine learning is, for example, we can detect user-defined objects. We can recognize them in defined situations that will generate an alarm and event. All these objects will be interpreted as stationary objects because we, in the same way as the camera as a human being, is understanding and remembering the objects. The difference is that the camera will remember this object forever. Me as a human being, perhaps I will forget about it in a couple of days or weeks, but this camera will remember it for as long as we have programmed it. That's also something to be clear about. So what we will do with this one is we will generate possibilities to create new business opportunities. In this uh, example, we have trained the camera to recognize parked car in a parking area. Uh, so first of all, we train the camera. When we have done that, we will take this created and trained detector, as we call it, and put it into one of the tasks that we have in the normal IVA settings. Uh, that is really what it's all about. It's training the camera to make the camera understand that it has this new set of different detectors uh, and use those detectors in the same way as you have with all the other tool sets you have for making an alarm in a Bosch camera. So we will, in a very short while, go over to demo. But before we do that, I would just like to bring the story together. You remember, the ones of you who was in the previous session, what we did with customer A and customer B. We took the customer that we called customer A. We added a few cameras. And what you can see now, the one of you who remembers, is this customer have actually 
bought two new fire extinguisher. And this customer is really uh, interested in finding out if something happened these ones, if he still has two of them, and if somebody's putting them in a place in a spot where they're not supposed to be. So what we will do right now is that we will go back to Jimmy, and Jimmy will start training the camera to find out if we have fire extinguishers missing in the setup. So Jimmy, now it's your time to shine. Thank you, Anders. So now we're going to train the cameras from the configuration manager. And this can be done either locally or through the remote portal as we have discussed previously. To activate com uh, the camera trainer in the camera, you just go to our website and get a license for free. Doesn't cost anything, it's free of charge, and you activate the function. In the VCA menu, you will now see a new tab which is named Camera Trainer. Here you will do the configuration of the different detectors. So you can use up to 16 detectors in a fixed camera. So what I will do now is to train the camera on the fire disc, disc indicator to learn what we are looking for. So I am putting a positive and negatives in the picture so the camera understand what I'm looking for and what I'm not looking for. So I did take two positive and some negatives and I press learn. And this should be done a few times to train the camera what is wrong and what is correct. And after you've done that a few times you can see underneath you have samples, and you can see we have 10 positive samples and 146 negative samples. So now we can create a task. And you go into task just no like normal, you save the configuration. Now I can delete this task and create a new one. So now I'm going to do an occupancy task. I'm going to create a new field where we want to count. I press alarm on missing objects, so I want an alarm if there is only one. And make an the bounce time of the alarm for 10 seconds, which should normally maybe be five minutes, but it will be too long for us to show this alarm. I press next, and now I have something new here. In the object class, we now have detector one, which we did train, and I select that one and press finish. We could also create a task where we have an alarm if somebody's putting a fire extinguisher in a place where they really not should be. So perhaps we could just make a field uh, in the area as just close by these ones so we can test it. Yes. So I'm making a new field close so we can see if we move them. Yeah, and this is the place where we really not should put the fire extinguisher. That's the customer's need. Yes. The same one here, that should selecting the detector and press finish and save. Okay, let's see. Now I will t take a short walk out here to see what we are actually achieving. So this is the place where it should be fire extinguisher. So two ones. This is the place where it's not supposed to be fire extinguishers. So if we have done everything right, the algorithm will see that we have one extinguisher in one place that it should be. The other one in is in a place where it shouldn't be. And that one will also generate an alarm after a while. What we did see there is that we actually got an alarm, but since the footprint of the device did go outside, we did miss the alarm. Now I did change to center of box, and then we have the alarm. And there we have also the alarm, because we are missing one of the fire extinguishers. 
Thank you, Yumi. Perhaps not the most typical example of what you need, but it was pretty simple for us to find two fire extinguisher here in the, in the outside the demo room, so we could demonstrate it for you. But what you can see is that you will have the ability to train your camera on specific objects. It's not the person, it's not the bike, the car, or the truck. You can start training the camera for objects that you have a need to detect. Uh, I will also show you some use cases really quickly uh, before you start visiting our website and downloading the license to start testing your own cameras. Uh, it's really about common sense and imagination what you can, can do here and we strongly recommend you to test. Uh, you can also do testing with recorded scenes on a monitor but it's all about the use case, the viewing angle of the camera uh, and the and the way you can look at your specific scene that will determine if you have a working solution or not. But icicles is one possibility. Uh, parked cars in parking areas or garage has been really successful and useful. Uh, one camera training use case that we have is in traffic scenarios where you can get the camera to be defining how many objects are turning in certain direction. It's just about using the detector you have been training the camera for and then start to use it with the same tasks, the same filters as you have with the normal IVA settings. So in this example we have a, a street crossing or a red light where we are going to detect and count how many cars is going from this main street, turning left, turning right and also going straight forward. So it's just about some ways of creating task of the detectors. That's one suggestion. Also, you can do it in the opposite way around. Here we actually are detecting a certain view of a certain object that is behind or beneath the trucks that is on this loading dock. So we're looking into seeing this one. If this one is not present, we will have an alarm in the similar way as Jimmy did with the fire extinguishers. Camera trainer is also really good at defining these objects and in traffic scenes and traffic situations you might have issues with shadows, headlights and stuff that will sometimes fool the normal intelligent video analytics but the camera trainer will still manage to cope with it. Industrial solutions where you would like to keep track if your parcels are on the belt or if they're off the belt. Um, barriers close by uh, train stations, train tracks and stuff like that it's also a possibility. Shopping wagons in a warehouse where you would like to detect if they're in a place where they shouldn't be, also a possibility. We have uh, people in, in Holland who is detecting fluid levels, looking at specific objects in the channels to see if the water is rising too high or if it's not. We will have a camera trainer detectors um, viewing stopped vehicles in, in the parking lane or sorry, in the pedestrian lane and stuff like that. So it's really about trying to find solutions that will give you the opportunity that you haven't had before. That is really something new. And by bringing the camera trainer and the machine learning at the edge, you have the opportunity to do this on your own. We will not tell you what to detect. It's up to you. It's your use case and you're defining what you need. I hope this was interesting for you. At least for me and Jim, it was really fun to test the fire extinguishers. Uh, there are many more other solutions when it comes to defining objects, what type of objects and how to use them. And I also recommend you to download the license for your camera, it's free of charge, and start testing it. That's the best way of learning. So by saying that, I would like also to say thank you for me and Jimmy, and hope you have a very nice and safe day. Stay tuned and stay safe, and I will see you in a webinar soon again. Thank you.